First video back in 2020, I want to show you guys a tip that is related to a video I made last week about infinity speed in the game. So this is the value that I have, which is 2 billion. If you try to replace it with infinity, it will give you an error. Um, so I'm going to tap the W key and the game stops. As it turns out, it is possible to get infinity in Minecraft. I want to show you guys how. Here's the command. So you give yourself any item with the attribute modifier, just like in the speed video. I'm going to use max health here instead of speed because I don't want to break the game. But the amount instead is 1.7977 times 10 to the power of 308, which is a very big number. And it rounds up to infinity if you try it. If I press enter, you can see now my leather cap has a max health of infinity modifier in the game. I can wear this and this is what happens. I start healing all the way to the top. There are some nuances here and a little bit of a limitation and we'll talk about that in a little bit. And before you guys say anything, I can do negative infinity. I can do that. And I've made a video about negative health. I'll link that in the card at the top right. Okay, let's chuck that into the water. Some of the fish can wear it if they want to. Another way you can get this item is through an NBT editor. And instead of typing in a value, you can type in the word infinity in the amount section. And it works. So one of the first things you'll notice while you're healing up is the fact that you're draining a saturation. So clearly this requires some uh, food. It's a lot of health. Like if I do this, um, it will heal up slowly, but uh, it will drain your food. So uh, <laughs> is it worth it? Probably. I'm hungry again. Let's eat again and heal up again. Otherwise, you could always resort to this uh, <laughs> and heal the way up. Um, and the problem is I have instant health, but as soon as I remove this leather cap, I will die, according to the game. This this is a glitch that's happened for a very long time. It's existed in the game for a very long time, has not been fixed. You can literally trigger this as much as you want, simply by putting your hat on, taking it off, hat on, take it off, hat on, take it off, and continue to repeat this cycle with the instant health effect. The game will think that you're losing so much health that you're dying, that's my assumption. Uh, now you're literally at a horizontal to the world, and look at this. You are... <laughs> I cannot describe this, really, I can't. Um, <laughs> you are walking... The health is really screwing it up right now, actually. Let's take it off. You are swimming, walking, dead. What am I doing? I'm mining through the dirt. That's how you play the game. Let's, <laughs> let's put that back. Oh, I missed. <laughs> this looks so bad. Oh no! This is truly a challenge in itself. I can't place it down in the hole. I just did it. Now, here's the limitation. Uh, you don't actually have infinite health. This is just a very large number of hearts. The game doesn't give you infinite health, unfortunately. It should, but it doesn't. Uh, I have counted every single row of hearts. There are 51 rows plus the extra two at the top. That gives you 512 hearts, which is 1024 health. If I press tab, you can see it is stored in there numerically. You can see it 512 HP. You can see I have half a heart, which means 0.5 in the scoreboard. So that is well enough to be infinite, but I know that it's not mathematically infinite. There's such a thing as infinite anyway. But if you want to apply the infinity attribute modifier to anything else, you can. You can do that to movement speed. You can do it to attack damage, armor, armor toughness. Attack speed, a lot of these things you can find on mcstacker.net. So I encourage you to try this. It doesn't break the game in any way. I mean, it does, but it doesn't crash the game, which I think is a win for me, uh, not for my avatar, which is struggling at the moment. So hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to try this out, there'll be a command in the description of this video. Thank you to Hamish Arblaster for telling me this. Could not have figured this out without your help. So I appreciate it, and I'm sure the viewers do as well. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content. If you have any other suggestions for content that I can make in relation to attribute modifiers, I've seen a lot already, but I'm sure you guys have some more ideas after this video. Take care.